Hi everyone, Mr. Ng here and today we're going to look at word problems and more word problems too from your visible thinking. The concept we are going to look at is comparison models. So what you're going to learn, you're going to learn how to solve word problems where you need to draw comparison models. Now how do you identify these kind of word problems? Usually you have many people, two or three people where you need to compare. Okay, so some of the key phrases you will see here are four times, twice, uh, more than, less than. So once you see these key phrases, you may want, you may have to use comparison model. So some of the steps of solving word problems. First, you need to ask yourself what do you know and what do you want to know. So what are some key phrases uh, and how do you, can you represent your problem visually? So we're going to draw models to help us. Then after that, you need to choose a strategy to solve it. And sometimes you need to ask yourself, is there a more efficient way of solving this question? And then finally, you need to check. Does my answer make sense? And how can you check to make sure your answers are correct? So finally, let's move on to example one. We are looking at visible thinking page 25. This is the question there. Now, I'm not going to read the question. You can read it on your own. Pause to read the question first, and then I will carry on to explain the solution. So now, what do we know? We know that we have three people, Tammy, Sandra, and Linda. So I've color-coded them like that. What else do I know? I know that Tammy baked four times as many muffins as Sandra. Linda baked 50 more than Sandra, and all of them baked 320 muffins. So what do I want to find out? I want to find out how many muffins did Tammy bake. So let's draw a model to start, and I'm going to do it line by line to make it easier. So first, Tammy baked four times as many muffins as Sandra. So Tammy, Sandra, Tammy has four times, so four boxes. Sandra only has one box. The boxes are all equal. All right. Now next, Linda baked 50 more muffins than Sandra. So Linda is here. She has the same amount as Sandra, but 50 more. So this is how you will represent this visually. Now if all of them bake 320, so that means everything here will all add up to 320. And then finally, what are, what are we looking for? We are looking for the number of muffins that Tammy baked. So this is what we are looking for. Okay, so let's try and solve it. Now the strategy I'm going to use is called the unitary method. That means I'm going to make them in terms of units because you see, if you see here, this is one unit, one unit, one unit, one unit. Tammy has four units, Sandra has one unit, Linda has also one unit, but she has this extra 50. Now this extra 50 is not one unit and so I cannot equate them. I cannot say six units or seven units is equal to 320. So what do I need to do? I need to get rid of this. Now how do I get rid of this? I can't just delete it like that. So I need to get rid of this by taking 320 minus 50. So I'm getting rid of this part here and that will give me 270. Now 270 will be this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units. So 6 units will give me 270. So if I have, if I know 6 units, I know I can find 1 unit. All I have to do is because they are all equal, I can divide. 270 divided by 6, and that will give me 45. So I know one unit. Can I find four units for Tammy? Yes, I can. So four units is 45 times 4, and that will give me 180. So Tammy has 180 muffins. Now how do I check whether I'm correct? So let me use a different color. So let's check. Now I know Tammy has 180. I know Sandra, one unit is 45. Let me find Linda. So Linda is 1 unit, 45, plus 50, and that will give me 95. So this is what I'm doing, I'm checking. Huh? So if all three of them add up, they should give me 320, right? So I take 95, plus Sandra, which is 45, plus uh, Tammy, which is 180. Now if you add them all up, you should get 320. So that means I am correct. So that's how you check. Let's move on to example 2. This is from Visible Thinking page 41, problem 1. Again, read the question on your own. So what do we know? I know I have again three people, Jerry, Ling and Ben. I know that Jerry, twice as many as Ling, Ben, three times as many as Ling, total 144 marbles. What do I want, what do I want to find out? How many marbles did Jerry have? So again, let's draw the model line by line. Jerry twice as Ling. So Jerry two times, Ling one time. Ben three times as Ling, Ben three of Ling. So 
he has three units. Total 144, very easy to put. How many marbles did Jerry have? That's what I want to find out. So again, let's solve. So all together, I have one unit, two units, three, four, five. I have six units. So six units will give me 144. And one unit will be then 144 divided by 6. And that will give me 24. So what do I want to find out? I want to find out Jerry, which is 2 units. So 2 units is 24 times 2. And that will give me 48. So Jerry has 48 marbles. Check. So I know Jerry has 48. I know Ling has 24. Uh, I don't know Ben. So Ben is 3 units. So 24 times 3 gives me 72. So plus 72. If they give me 144, I'm correct. And they do. 144. So my answer is correct. Hooray! Now, let's look at example 3. This is from Visible Thinking page 41 as well. Problem 2. I want you to take out your video worksheet. And I want you to solve this problem on your own first. Let's see whether you have understood from the first two examples. So while waiting for Mr. Tortoise to go past, solve it. Follow the strategy. Highlight those that you know. What do you want to find out? Draw out the model and then solve it. Pause the video if you need more time. Otherwise, after Mr. Tortoise has passed, I will talk about how to solve this. Okay, so first things first, three people again, Jerry, Ling, and Ben. Now this time round, a little bit different. Uh, Jerry has twice as many as Ling, but Ben has three times as many as Jerry. So that's the that main difference from the previous example. So again, let's draw the model. Jerry twice as many, so Jerry two times, Ling one, Ben three times as many as Jerry. Okay, so now let's put Ben here, and where's Jerry? Jerry is up here. Jerry has two boxes, two units. So if Ben has three times as many as Jerry, how many boxes will, will Ben have? Yeah, he will have six boxes because one time, two times, and three times Jerry. Okay, so if they have a total of 144, all together will be 144, and how many marbles did Jerry have? And that is what we need to find out. So, let's solve. How many units do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 units. So I've got 9 units, 1, 4, 4. 1 unit, same strategy, 1, 4, 4 divided by 9 in this time round. So it will give you 16. So what do I want to find out? I want to find Jerry, which is 2 units. So 16 times 2, and that will give me 32 marbles altogether. So let's check. Same thing, and I'm not going to run through it because of time. Find out how much does Jerry have. You already know, 32. Ling is 16. You need to find out how many does Ben have. And if it gives you 144, then you are correct. Okay, so that's how you check. Now, it's time for you to try. So that's the second question in your video worksheet. Copy down the missing information highlighted in yellow and try and solve it on your own. Come back to class and let's have a little discussion with your teachers. Finally, what other questions do you have about comparison work problems? Or if you don't have, what do you think that your friends may have? Let's ask more questions because remember, questions will drive learning. See you next time.